Well, hello there and welcome to our continuing highlight coverage of the 25th African Cup of Nations in Egypt, which has so far entertained us with some thrilling matches and first-class football. The second match of today's play will be contested by Cameroon, who had three points to their advantage after beating Angola in their opener on Saturday, and Togo, who lost their first match to the Democratic Republic of Congo the same day. The Hawks will be depending on some magic moments from their striker Emmanuel Adebayor, the new Arsenal man who has apparently settled his differences with coach Stephen Keshi. This is a must-win match for them if they have any ambitions of reaching the next stages. The indomitable Lions of Cameroon are more than confident of going through. Their skipper, Rigobert Song, who last match got his 100th cap, is poised to set a new Nations Cup record by playing in his 25th game of the tournament and his sixth Nations Cup final. The Lions would do good to be wary of Manu Adibayo as he scored 11 goals in the prelims for this contest, more than any other striker on the roster, and two more than Ivorian Chelsea star Didier Drogba. Togo will come out fighting and are expected at the very least to give Africa's number one ranked team, Cameroon, a hard ride. Should the supposed underdogs win this match, the final outcome of the group will be postponed until coming Saturday. Without further ado, let's get this match on the road in Cairo's Military Stadium, which is the venue tonight for the second time, featuring the Lions in their green jerseys and Togo in their yellow and green kit. And the man in charge of this decisive tie is Soye Madu from Gambia. Togia, Togo get the kickoff, and they've got some chores ahead of them. Adebayonko need the full three points here. Cameroon with the first real bit of suspense. Chelsea's Jeremy from the right across to Barca's Eto. But Togo's defence in no mood to go down early. Two corners from Togo now. The first by Sinaya, the second also. Adebayo is there. There's a chance. But it's all over as quick as it started. Sulemino can breathe out. Arzim Wenger's new signing, Adebayo, could spell trouble, smell, spell trouble for the Lions, though. They shouldn't let him out of their sights, or they should be sorry. It's a good build-up for Cameroon. Now they're showing what they're capable of. Three defenders around Eto, the ball over Kone, Vebo, the Osasuna player. He had the one nil there on the end of his foot, but he just whacks the ball into the stands. There's his chance, and off it goes. Cameroon applying the pinches here, though. Eto defying the Togo defence from 25 yards out. Wallops the ball towards the gas's posts. But it's over the crossbar. But they're, they're getting close. They're getting close, the Lions. They're not going to go home empty-handed, that's for sure. There's a free kick coming up now. But who will it be? Who's going to take it? Jeremy runs, leaves the ball, Eto takes it, but it's a weak and sloppy shot, easily blocked by the Togolese defence. They should have done better here. I don't expect them to get too many chances quite like that. If they're after six points, they'll have to get their act together. Some good play now. Osasauna has all the time in the world here. After some great fancy footwork from Adebayo, there's Osasuna, gets the ball across, but it's way over the goal. No chances there. A free kick now from Eto for the Indomitables. Is he going to take it himself? He is. It hits the wall. But you could hear the whistle. Kasim is reprimanded here for leaving the wall too early. He collects a yellow card for that. Kasim, there he is. On his yellow card. This means... He gets the chance for a further kick. It's a bit of deja vu here for the Barca striker. And uh, the same, same result. The ball's just gone over the goal there. No danger for Agassa. But Cameroon pressuring like nobody's business here. Macoon there, the man with the impressive haircut. He has a go. But it's still no go. There he comes as he's trying. But there it is, right over the right hand side of the post into oblivion. Final minutes here. 
Another chance for the Lions, a solo from Duolala, he shoots, Barcelona Zeta runs for it, immediately whacking it towards the Togo, he's goal. Togo saved by the woodwork, the Lions squeezing Togo through the mangle. But now at half-time, we have a draw yet again. The first few games all with, draw with goals, now we have a new trend. Let's see what happens in the second half. Cameroon spent plenty of their time near the Togo area, but haven't been able to create anything valuable quite yet. Adebayo's Sparrowhawks haven't come up with the goods yet either. One highlight is due to come, though. And here it is. Rigobert Song picks up his award for his record 25 matches in the Nations Cup just before play is resumed. All smiles here, but will he still be smiling at the end of these, this tie? He gets that for his 25th appearance in a can tie. Five minutes now into the second half. And it's Cameroon again in front of Togo's goal. Free kick from Chelsea's Jeremy. Beautiful driving shot over the Sparrowhawks wall. It's a crossbar. The wall falls back onto the pitch. But Agassa has it. Adebayo roaring up the field now. He's past the entire defence. Now he can be a hero. He's in there. Oh, there's a clash there with Suleimanu. He comes out, lunges forward. There's contact. Adebayo falls to the floor. Is it a penalty? No, 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 no. It's all okay. Clean save by Suleimanu. Bad luck for Adebayo and Togo. Adebayo all smiles. No discussions here. A very good try. A great solo by the Gunners striker. And a good last minute bit of work there by Suleimanu. The sirens are howling here. Samuel Eto weaves his way through the Togolese defence. Playing brilliantly now. He's in no hurry. Waits his chance. Shoots, but Agasso is, shoved, is there. Shoves the ball over the line. So we've got a corner coming up now for that. There he goes. And he's through all that time, but a beautiful save there. And he certainly saved the night for the time being for Togo. Here's the corner, the ensuing corner. It's taken by Jeremy. Song heads, loose ball, and headed to Weibo. But it's all over. No getting through. Oh, there's a lot of confusion now. Ah, that they could have had it in there. They're certainly doing their homework well. But we're back on the other side of the pitch now. Adebayo saying to Ito, I can do that too. Whizzes up the pitch. But he can't break the goalie spell either. Adebayo, Song, and it's still a stalemate. Song not having any of it there. This is what we've been waiting for. Sam Nueto picks up a loose ball. Will he pick up his fourth goal? Jeremy Cross with the ball blocked. Oh, there it is. Ball played in by Kome on the rebound. Sam Nueto pounds it into the back of the net. Agassa can't do anything about that one. Oh, beautiful. That's what we've been waiting for. Samuel Eto magic here in the African Cup of Nations, not just in Barcelona. Samuel Eto pounding it into the back of the net there. No chance for Agassa. At this moment, Cameroon, four points. Togo in desperate need of a draw, at least now. But they've got a lot of work in front of them if they're considering grabbing one back. I can't see it happening. 1-0 now for Cameroon with 20 minutes regular time to go. And Cameroon well on their way now to follow the Ivory Coast into the next round. Just take a look at that again. Beautiful. Lovely bit of work. Whoa, what a, what a whacking shot that was. Samuel Eto at his very, very best. Samuel Eto came down the right side here again, just like the light brigade. Eto goes round the back of the defence. Jeremy with a crafty little kick. Meon Z has no trouble in flicking this one with him with a back kick out of the blue. Cameroon have it all tied up now. Togo look like they're out of this contest. 
They certainly are at the moment. We'll see them later on this summer in Germany. Unfortunately, we won't be seeing Cameroon, though. But this is some of the magic we've been waiting for all night. Eto's goal in the 67th, then this subtle attempt by Mayong Si with his back kick five minutes before regular time. Look at that lovely bit of work. And the indomitable Lions have shown what they're capable of. Oh, they don't come better than that. Just have a look at it again. Beautiful. That's the stuff that football heroes are made of. And we now have a 2-0 lead. Well, Togo put up a brave attempt. They had the chances. Adebayo certainly had his moments, but it just wasn't enough. Togo are out of this competition. Cameroon with six points with just one match to play against the DR Congo on Sunday. That's it from the Military Stadium. Thanks for watching our coverage.